It's Wednesday afternoon. It's actually after three o'clock. The time completely got away from me today. I've done nothing but listing and drafts the entire day. I got up, got ready, and I started working. Well, my ex-wife had came by because she was in the area for a few minutes earlier, and she told me, you know, it was what time it was, and I was like, what? I had the TV on, doing my listing, and the time just completely got away from me. So, not a whole lot more to say. Oh, this was from yesterday. This was this weird uh, cream that the lid or the seal was kind of opened up on. The buyer got back with me and said, go ahead and send it. I've got six orders going out today for a total of 6903. So let me go pull those. In H13, I've got a wall clipper trimmer. And this sold for $17.95 plus shipping. Also in H13, I've got a book. Airbnb business. And this sold for $9.86 plus shipping. Yesterday afternoon, I had set these to the side because I knew they sold. But the Stacker 3 XPLC body fat burner sold for $11.66 plus shipping. In F4, I sold a replacement pump for a breast pump. And this sold for $15.25 plus shipping. On the LP1 shelf, this jalapeno pepper rack sold for $8.05 plus shipping. Back in my eBay room and in the F bin, I sold some bed bug early detection traps. And these sold for $6.26 plus shipping. The bed bug traps and the Airbnb business book both came from the bin store and they wouldn't have been more than 50 cents or $1. Whoa, that almost fell. The wall bullet trimmer came from an estate sale. I paid $5 for that. The jalapeno pepper rack came from a garage sale and I bought another item there. And this had, I don't know, two or $3 on the price tag. And I asked them if I bought the other thing, if they would throw this in, and they did. So really, I don't have anything into this. The stackers, I just recently picked up at the bin store. I paid $2 for these. And I probably should have taken them out the court, but I was trying to find more of them to lock these up. And I didn't find any more, but I still bought them. So I've got $2 into those. And this is a replacement pump for a Mom Cozy breast pump. I've sold these quite a few times in the past. They always sell really good and really quick. This came from the bin store for $2. Today is Friday. I did not go to any garage sales. I got up early and man, the garage sales look pretty good, but I am riding that fine line between <laughs> way too much inventory and still trying to source. And the easy answer is to really to just only source the best items, but I have so much inventory right now. And that's a story that I've said for a long time. Most of the inventory I have is Amazon bin store inventory, but lately I've been going to so many estate sales that it's really just piling up. So I decided that my time would be spent better listing this morning than going bring in more inventory. I may go to some garage sales tomorrow morning. It really just depends. I've had a super busy week. I've had some family in from out of town and my family is extremely small. So when someone comes in, it's always like a big deal. And they've been here for the whole week and you know we've did a lot of stuff. So it has cut into my eBay time a good bit. Luckily, I've got a draft bank going. So I'm still having six items go live every day in addition to a little bit of the other listing that I've been able to get done. I've got nine orders going out today for a total of 106.35 and that's over two days. Yesterday I didn't do anything eBay related because I was with family all day long and really up until about nine o'clock last night. So the only activity on my account were the six items that went live. We went out to eat last night with the family and my, my good ex-wife picked up something at Goodwill for me. Well, there's actually two things she picked up, but one of them was from a while back and I don't have it here in the house with me, but she did pick up something for me yesterday at Goodwill, so I'll show you what she got. She brought me this last night when we all went out to eat. And 
I didn't look at it or anything. So I'm gonna open it up right here. This was the text message she sent me. It says vintage 1999 Inesco Wizard of Oz ceramic piggy banks set of four. And this comped for a hundred dollars. I didn't comp it, this is just from her. And I don't know if there's four things in here or not. Oh, she did. I forgot about this. She did tell me she picked up uh, a Yoda mug for a dollar ninety nine. I don't think. I think she said she didn't comp this one. She just saw it and thought it looked pretty cool. All right. So this is definitely not a set of four. But let's see. So that was four ninety nine. And it looks to be in pretty good shape. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it. Like I said, I didn't do anything with it. That was the first time I opened it. So, I don't know if this picture was just one of, you know, several pictures and there was more. But either way, I think this might be pretty decent. The Scarecrow Bank, it is missing the little plug at the bottom. And I only can find one sold comp on that. I think she may have been looking at the listed comps. And that was for a set of four. So the only sold comp is for $10 plus shipping. So maybe not as good as she was thinking. But I got to give her credit. She certainly tries. Yeah, I found the listing that she had comped this off of. And it is a set of all four for hundred dollars. I do see one listed on eBay for $24.99, another for $25, and another for $25. So I don't think uh, I'll have any problem making a few dollars on that. I did find a comp on the mug. Now this one is brand new, sold for $24.96 with free shipping. I'm quite sure after looking over this one that it's brand new, but I don't think I'll sell it as that you know, because I can't be 100% sure. And being that it was only $1.99, I shouldn't have any problem making a few dollars on that too. So with that said, I'm gonna go pull my orders. First item is in bin H18. And it is this handheld solitaire game. It sold for $11.66 plus shipping. In 05, I've got three orders. All right, the first is a book. Let's see. Dr. Pestana Surgery Notes. This sold for $11.66 plus shipping. Next is a Presto Salad Shooter Replacement Port, the Blade Cone. And this sold for $7.15 plus shipping. And third is another book. This Pimbot Guide. It sold for $22.45 plus shipping. In F3, I've got a thermometer. And this sold for $6.26 plus shipping. In O2, I've got a belt buckle. It's not that one. Not that one. Okay, here it is. And this sold for $15.25 plus shipping. In F6, I've got some restriction bands. And these sold for $5.63 plus shipping. And in M1, I've got a three pack of clip on sunglasses. And these sold for $5.63 plus shipping. The sunglasses came from the bin store. I paid 50 cents for those. The blood restriction bands were also 50 cents. I just bought this the other day, this doctor's uh, surgery notes book. I'm not gonna go through the trouble looking it up, but I either paid one or $2 for that. I think I only paid a dollar for it. The belt buckle came from an estate sale. I paid $2 for it. The replacement port for the salad shooter. That, well, I bought the whole thing from an estate sale. I think it was $5 and I've parted it out. I've already sold the blades for 20 something dollars. So that more than paid for everything here. 
the dog supplements i paid two dollars for the pimboke or pimbot guide i paid two dollars for that from the bin store oh these also came from the bin store the thermometer i think i paid two dollars for that from the bin store not a very good buy on those and the solitaire game came from a garage sale i paid 50 cents for that today is monday i have eight orders going out for a total of 145.03 and that really covers about three days because those were orders that would have came in Friday afternoon after I went to the post office, Saturday, Sunday, and so far today. This weekend, I did zero eBay stuff. No garage sales, no estate sales, or anything. And the only reason that I did not do any of that was because I felt terrible this weekend. Not long ago, I mentioned that my sinuses had been acting up, and they're doing it again. And between sinus issues and allergy issues, I felt like crud the whole weekend. I barely got out of bed Saturday. And Sunday, I did go to a crawfish boil, and I had to do a little bit of work at one of my commercial accounts. But other than that, I didn't do anything productive the whole weekend, and it kind of sucked. I felt like I got nothing done. Luckily, I did have some items going live on eBay because I have a draft bank, which brings me to another topic. I had a comment from CM Retro Gaming about using draft banks. And so I thought I'd share a little bit more about the reason why I do use them. Of course, I knew about people using drafts just to make listings go live at different points. Like, for example, you're a Monday through Friday full-time eBay seller. So you are doing your listings live throughout the week. Well, maybe having half a dozen drafts on the weekends and making them go live at different points could just trigger the algorithm and show some activity on your account and maybe that could help your sales. What I did not know about was using the Rocky Top Picker style draft bank where you spend one, maybe two days a week doing all your listings but putting them in a draft bank and scheduling them to go out live at different intervals. That was kind of a new concept when I heard about it, but it definitely intrigued me. I know there are two schools of thought on draft banks. The first is that you do all these drafts and they're just sitting there. And so you're pretty much sitting on an electronic death pile of items that if you had made those listings go live, you may be getting sales on those items. And I completely understand that. And the other school of thought about having the draft bank is that you're constantly getting listings going live at various points throughout the day and throughout the week. And I understand that too. My personal experience with having a draft bank is I do believe that it's advantageous to have listings going out on a regular basis rather than just sitting down doing five, eight, 10 listings and maybe coming back a day or two days later and doing another little group of listings. I think having the draft bank is a better option from what I have seen. And the reason that I personally like having a draft bank is because my time is extremely limited between regular work, listing, packing orders. Um, I work three nights a week typically and just everything else that I have to do in life like laundry and cooking and paying bills and running errands and all that stuff. So for me, the ability to have those items going live at certain intervals, I like to be able to sit down get as many drafts done as possible, and then schedule those listings out periodically over the next, at, usually at least few days. I schedule my listings six per day. One comes out at 4 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, 4 p.m., 8 p.m., and midnight. This way, whenever I'm busy, I still have listings going live because it's not uncommon for me to have days and days where I really can't get to too many listings. And, you know, I know it's crazy to think that you can't sit down and do five listings, but I'm really busy. So sometimes that's just not possible. And having a draft bank does make that possible. I think there's more than one way to effectively use the draft bank, but it depends on each seller situation. Let's say I was a full-time eBayer and I was used to making 25 listings per day, Monday through Friday, and I spent my weekend sourcing. So I'm making a total of 125 listings per week and they're all going live. Each day, maybe I could have 20 listings go live and put five into the draft bank. And if I do that Monday through Friday, I've got 25 listings sitting in my draft bank. And then 
when I'm outsourcing Saturday and Sunday, I could have maybe 12 listings go live Saturday and then the other 13 go live Sunday. So that's one way it could be used. You could do like Rocky Top Picker, spend a day, maybe two, doing your listings and not do any more listings throughout the week. For me, whatever listing I sit down and do first goes live. The rest of them go into a draft bank. And that has really allowed me to have listings go live when I was just too busy to get to them otherwise. So I hope that makes sense and maybe answers some questions about people having draft banks. They're not going to be for everybody, I don't think, because I know there are people that just list stuff and they want it to go live and have the opportunity for a buyer to buy that item. And I definitely wouldn't say that that's wrong. But for me, draft banks just seem to work. It's getting late, so I'm going to go pull my orders and show you what's sold. I've got two items in 05. I think they're both books. Critical Care Nursing made incredibly easy. And this sold for $25.16 plus shipping. And I've got another desk reference criteria book. And this sold for $13.45 with free shipping. In M18, I've got a baby wipes heater. Oh, there it is. This sold for $6.26 plus shipping. I've got two items in H3. Let's see, one of them is this. Uh, what is this? MJoy Optima Epilator. And this sold for $18.85 plus shipping. And I've got these Franklin baseball gloves. These sold for $17.95 plus shipping. In F6, so the book. Single case research methodology. And this sold for $31.95 plus shipping. In H7, I've got some Olsen cool blocks. And these sold for $8.96 plus shipping. Okay, here's what's going out today. First, these two books both came from the bin store and they were $2 each, I believe. I believe this book was, it was $1 from the bin store. The gloves were either $1 or $2. I'm not looking at my phone right now to see. These cool blocks were $1 from the bin store. The baby wipes heater was 50 cents from the bin store. And these two items both came from estate sales, different estate sales. This one came from a $3 fill -a bag at one estate sale. And I don't remember if the other estate sale was $3 or $5 fill -a bag, but that's where I got this box of Zorbies. And this is one of the older boxes. And I listed this a little bit higher because it had the old box with Billy Mays on it. I think I only found one comp on eBay that had this box. It doesn't have all the Zorbies. It says 10 Zorbies inside and there's not that many. I don't remember how many is in it. But of course I did show that in the listing and I even took them out to show how many came inside the box. But I thought the box was really cool now that Billy Mays isn't here anymore. And I really thought someone might want it for the box. But I definitely don't have very much money in the it. Like I said, either, well, less than three or $5 because I bought several things in that bag from that estate sale. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.